So now that you've got tomato loaded on your router, if you loaded from stock or if you uh, went from DDWRT, it'd be good to know how to change to a different build. If you came from stock, you're on the mini build, which doesn't have USB or other things like that. So navigate back to um, <coughs> navigate back to the download page that we were at before. It's uh, tomato.groove.pl for the shibby builds, and uh, go back to this directory and locate the one that you used initially to flash. Now you look at this, tomato f7d 3302 128, and this is what's important here, MIP SR2 mini. So we need a MIP SR2 build. These right here are MIP SR1. So down here is MIP SR2. However, if you notice, it's a K26 and it's plain. Keep going down, the K26 USBs are right here. But that's MIP SR1. So go all the way to the bottom. Here's the MIP SR2 K26 USB builds. That's the ones that we want. So if you look through here, there's the AIO and the Mega. The AIO is 20 megabytes, the Mega is 10. Those will not fit on our little Belkin router because it only has 8 megabytes of flash. So we have to choose between the Big VPN, the BT VPN, the BT, BT GUI VPN, NoCat VPN, Tor VPN, and VPN. Now for the most part, they're all fairly similar. Um, the BT VPN comes with a BitTorrent client and user interface for it. It's transmission uh, daemon and the transmission GUI if you uh, have ever run them before and also VPN server. Um, BT is the same just without the VPN. Uh, BT GUI VPN is only the graphical user interface for transmission. You'd have to have a binary for transmission on Optware or an external device somehow. The uh, NoCat comes with a NoCat Splash, which is a captive portal, which could be used for a restaurant or something like that. Um, Tor comes with the Onion Router for a secure private browsing, and VPN is uh, lacking all of those special features and just has the VPN. So we're going to go with the one here that is the Tomato K26 USB 1.28 RT MIPS SR2 128BT.TRX file. That's the one that we'll download. So go ahead and download that somewhere. Then get to your router's admin page. After you log in, click the Administration tab, and then the Upgrade tab. Select Choose File, and then we're going to go and navigate to where we downloaded that um, firmware to. Select that, click open, click upgrade, and then wait. So now after you're done waiting, click the continue button and you're back to the tomato USB build. So now that you've got a build that has a USB and some other cool fancy functions, um, follow along with our other videos that will be coming out soon and how to configure this. All right. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this and it helped you out in getting a a bigger USB supported build onto your router. And uh, thanks for watching.